Someone's knocking. Perfect. You know what? Thank you very much for breaking another window. I'm only gonna say this one time because I hate shouting. So listen closely. What's going on? We've been watching you, and we know that you are only one man and one woman. We also know that you have some firearms. Hey, that's a nice AR, by the way. But we also know that you don't know much about how to use them. And just so that we're clear on everything, we do have your house surrounded. I warned you that you needed to leave your house two days ago. And I said if you didn't, that we'd kill you. But I'm still going to give you one last chance to just go about your lives. But this time, no weapons. Just the clothes on your backs and a pack of food and your hands up. You have five minutes to pack. It's only been two weeks. Is it already the Lord of the Flies? You made my offer. What's your decision? Yeah. How do we know you're not going to just shoot us when we walk out? Okay, that's a fair question. I'm going to be direct with you. You don't know my name, but you'll know who I am when I say that I was your UPS guy. Which is how I know that you have some pretty extensive supplies in there. Look, I know that you're a decent guy, and I'll be honest, I don't like seeing people have to die. But I'm even less of a fan of dying myself, and I'm not going to risk my or any of my guys' lives trying to force you out of there. If you stay, we're just going to burn down your house with you in it. Either you're gonna run out and we're gonna snipe you down for being a pain in our butts, or you can just burn in there. Now, no one out here wants that because if your house burns, then there's gonna be less stuff worth all of this effort. And I'm sure that you don't want that because then you'll be dead. So let's call it four minutes left. The clock's ticking, make your decision, and let's get the show on the road. Let's just walk out of here now. We'll figure it out. They don't seem like they want to hurt us. They don't sound crazy. No, they don't sound crazy, they sound smart. Did you hear what he said? We can walk out here with food, but no weapons, and we gotta walk out with our hands up? They're just trying to make it look like we have an escape route, so we'll walk out of here without a fight. They're not gonna let us out, out of here without shooting us, though. They put us out there with just a little bit of food, and in a couple of days we'll be back here trying to steal everything back from them. They'd be on edge just like we were. Now, they're not gonna let us do that. They're just trying to trick us out instead of burning us out. What do we do then? He's right. I actually don't know how to fight with no, this. We can't trust him. We can't trust him. How do we even know there's more than one person out there? It could just be him. All right. What's your decision? I said, what's the decision? What are you doing? You gave us five minutes. That was your two minute warning. What do we do? We just need more time. We just need more time. We're out of time. What do we do? Where's 911 when you need them? What are you doing? No one's gonna come and help us. Grab my bag, start packing. We're leaving? What? The decision. I feel as though this morning could have gone better, maybe. 
I, I think I just didn't have a plan for it. You know, I'm glad we got out with our lives. We're not dead. But uh, we're really no better off than we would have been if we had just left. And, uh, yeah, once we, once we got out to what Monica felt was kind of a safe distance, I headed back to check out, like, see if, like, the guys are just scattered, you know, see if there was anything maybe we could go back to, scrounge, you know, even just from the shed, but the, the place is just a total loss, just incinerated, melting mess, you know, unless we're looking for ashes. <laughs> you know, there's nothing there. So, uh, yeah. What we're doing now is we're heading over to get the bucket. We dropped, I'm glad we've got that, but otherwise we're, we're back to square one. And really it's my fault because I wasn't prepared for any of this. I mean, I, I, I did some things that felt like I was preparing. You know, I, I laid the traps, no, I, well, not traps, the trip lines and stuff, but, you know, doing shit isn't the same as getting shit done. I did a, I did a bunch of shit, but... Anyway, we... We gotta move. We gotta go, grab the bucket, I guess set up camp. Back to square one. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.